This project has been, has been building on me for maybe about two years now, I guess. Originally, we were just going to do some low-line uh, murals on the wall and just to dress things up a little bit, more of a street beautification situation. And uh, then I had a friend uh, come in to, to one of our shows and he's, I was telling him what, what I was thinking about and I showed him and he, he saw the silos and he said, man, we've got to do something. Fun. At the insistence of Cassandra at the uh, Talbot County Tourism Office, I contacted a gentleman named Michael Rosado who's been doing some local murals and he's a, he paints with brush. And I, I had contacted an outfit in New York who does brush painted murals and I knew this was expensive, expensive by comparison to what we were doing. So I, nonetheless, I called Michael, he came in for a visit. Oh, what his art does is, as I say, it brings a third dimension to it. It makes you feel like you can actually walk into the art or like it's actually off the wall coming at you. And, uh, he took all the measurements from our uh, from our silos in the building and so forth and I, I gave him a list of 50 plus icons that I wanted included in our in our mural and uh, several weeks later he came back with a with a sketch to scale it was unbelievable I mean it was it was so it was Absolutely, exactly what I had in my mind. I, I, I hate to call it a a blighted area, but it's certainly not. The area is not in the best state of repair, and um, uh, so it's in what the town classifies as their enterprise zone. It's areas that they want things to happen in, and uh, so it's. Uh, I mean, what we're going to do is is going to dress it up majorly. But for the, you know, for the town, and, and, and the town fathers are really behind this project, thank goodness for us, making it, you know, giving us all their help that they can possibly do. But it is going to, it is probably going to be one of the biggest tourist attractions that's ever hit the area. But the, the biggest thing in the, in the whole thing, as I mentioned it before, when talking about being proud of this area and things that are going on here, it's, it's going to be a highly educational project. Um, what we're finding is that, uh, you know, when I start talking about the different icons and the different importance of them, a lot of, a lot of adults don't know about these things. I mean, they, they happen around us and we just don't know about it. But the biggest thing is going to be what we can do for children's programs. This is going to be the, this is going to be the killer of the whole thing because children aren't getting it at all. Yeah. in school or anything. So we want to involve our schools and our, and our youth groups to come out, watch it, see it, you know, give them literature, so let them get out there and identify the different icons that are being painted and really get into it. You know, I'm proud as the Dickens of, of, of the area and, and where I live and so forth and, and I, want, uh, I, want, I want the rest of the world to be, feel the same way about it.